Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Books and Finances, and if you're new, welcome. Hi, my name is Sin. I do videos all about budgeting using the cash envelope method. Today's video is going to be my cash diving per paycheck. Um, well, I guess you can say it's the last paycheck of July because I did get paid July 26th. So this money will last me until August 8th. Yes, that is two weeks because I get paid on August 9th. Um, anyways, so we are going to be cash stuffing my bills binder, a little bit of sinking funds, and my cash uh, wallet. So I do have this many paper clips here because I received some really nasty bills um, from the bank. And these are the ones that I'm going to put into my wallet because I'm going to be taking you know giving those away pretty much um and then this money is going to go into my bills binder so let me just um let's start off with my my cash wallet yeah some of these they're so nasty like i wanted to wear gloves that's how nasty these are um okay so let me just count so 50 100 20 40 60 70 80 90 200 10 20 30 40 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 300 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 305 is what i am going to put in my wallet have you guys ever received some nasty bills and do you guys ask the teller to switch them out i do ask to switch them out when it's them giving it to me right but if it's the machine dispensing it because sometimes some banks have a machine where it automatically dispenses the money and i'm kind of embarrassed like did just put in the envelope there you go you know and then i don't check it until like i, I get home so anyways um yeah these bills a little gross so let's get my wallet here and I actually do have some money here in groceries. It's 20, how much? $22. And I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna roll that over. So I'm gonna put my normal 125 here. So let's just do, yeah, let's just do 250s, 20, and five. Okay, so 125. And in total, I now have 50, 100, 20, 45, 46, 47. 147 this is um for one week's worth of spending and then dining out or eating out will be getting 25 dollars. yes so 10 20 and five and then gas will be getting 60 dollars. so 20 40 50 60. Okay, household will be receiving 25, so 10, 20, and 5. And then my spending and kids, this one will also be getting 25, so 10, 15, 20, and 25. Okay, beauty will be getting twenty dollars. And let's see. Shopping will be getting twenty dollars as well. And then finally miscellaneous will be getting the last five dollars. Okay, so the wallet is stuffed with its money for the week. Let me grab some hand sanitizer because <laughs> that money is gross. Money is gross overall, right? But that one was extra gross. All right, so this money here is gonna go towards bills and some sinking funds. So I have one, two, three, four, 500, 600, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, one, two, three. So wait. 503 not 300 <laughs> 503 dollars is what i'm going to be putting here i hope you guys are doing great having a wonderful day night so far um and yes okay let's see let's start off with bills so my bills binder here um 
mortgage i actually did an automatic transfer because it was just going to be a little since i did get paid kind of late at the month um i didn't want to like struggle with having to go to the bank and deposit the money so mortgage is already in my bank account ready for august um utilities this one will be getting 210 dollars we did receive our gas and electric bill oh and i do have ten dollars in here already so 220 and it was 210 and some change however i ended up signing up for budget billing so next month i'm it's going to be like a set amount for the, for four months and then after that after the four months they reevaluate and um see if i need to pay less or more so i i kind of like that i like that i'm gonna have a set price for the bill instead of having to you know like i don't know how much i should budget for you know so yeah um internet will be getting a hundred and six dollars like my internet went up and it's 106 but starting next month it's going to go up ten dollars so i'll have to budget like 116 dollars so anyway so 106 for internet and subscriptions i do have amazon prime again i know i had canceled it back in march but I got it again and I have been enjoying it. I got like vitamins, my Korean skincare, um, my like pet stuff. So I think I'm gonna continue with the Amazon Prime membership. So that's gonna get 17. Cause it's like 16 and some change. Um, car insurance won't be getting anything. And I believe the next one is daycare. Yeah, daycare will be getting 200 so these 200 here so in daycare i have one two five six seven eight nine two hundred and nine dollars okay and that is it for my bills binder oh no it's not no it's not um i do have my property taxes here so property taxes is gonna get 112 to 51 i don't have change let's see 120 minus 112 so i need eight dollars back do i have eight dollars i have six <laughs> no um let me let me make change for a wait i don't even have let me make change for a 20 i'll be right back okay so i am back with the change let me just organize this so i said 112 there we go. So one twelve in property taxes. Let me color in one of these little tax icons. All right. So in property taxes, let's see how much I have. So I do have money in the bank, and I'm going to have to take some more to the bank. Um. All right. So I have 1,100 in the bank, 200, 300, 400, 500, so that's 1,500, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 70, 677. So $1,577 in my property taxes, which is pretty good. I have until November to save 4,950, but that's between me and my husband. My husband has yet to contribute to our property taxes, which he's he's more of the type of guy that like if the bill is coming up that's when he'll pay it he's not like i'll save up x amount of months so i don't have to pay it all at once you know he's not like that but anyways um and then annual bills will be getting nothing um home insurance home insurance was the next one this one will be getting 28 dollars. so let's color in another icon So 25, 6, 7, 8, perfect. This is another one that I need to go and take this money into the bank because the bill is not due until next year. So it has 100, 220, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2. So $152 in home insurance. Okay, so that is it for this binder. And then the next one is my high priority binder, which not gonna get that much um birthdays will be getting five dollars so i do have this tracker here so let's give it the five 
Let's color in one of these presents. Okay, so for birthdays, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100 dollars. So I just need this last roll to complete um, to reach the goal of 150. And this is going to be for my husband's birthday. It's coming up soon. Well, it's coming up in September, but the end of September. So I still have quite a bit of money to save. Um, so it'll probably, it'll probably be like the 150 and then I'll, I'll add more. And then the next one is going to be Costco. Costco will be getting the last $25. I have not gone to Costco yet, but I think I'm going to do an online order for household items like toilet paper, things like that, and beverages. I like, I like doing Costco online orders like that because it... It helps me not overspend when I go to Costco because then you like, oh, this is on sale or like it's three dollars off. And that's how they get you. Um, so anyways, <laughs> I'll probably do a Costco online order soon. So 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 80 dollars. That's good. All right. So that is it for today's catch stuffing, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.